Thanks, Candice, for inviting me to give my two cents on the discussion um, around the TV show, The Let's Dance Dance. Um, I personally found this show to be something between embarrassing, actually, um, but also infuriating um, for two reasons. One being that what we saw was five people on stage all of them white, therefore discussing discrimination in Germany, none of them being personally affected by what they were discussing at all. Um, that is mainly embarrassing, I think. I mean, we, we have this a lot in Germany that people discuss racism or discuss quote unquote political correct language um, without including the people who are actually affected by this language. Um, which makes it sort of a non-discussion in my eyes. I think today if we would invite, say, um, a panel about feminism and none of the people would be female, that would, for good reasons, be <laughs> regarded as as nonsense. But somehow when it comes to racism, this kind of understanding has not yet um, been achieved. And uh, yeah, that is reason number one. Reason number two is the content, which I think, you know, a lot of the things that were said by the people on that stage are so inflected with a sense of self-righteousness and uh, entitlement, um, which simply shows that there was no thinking before they went on that stage. And, you know, like there were a lot of apologies afterwards, but even those apologies don't really seem to show a real understanding of what is at stake. I think, you know, if, if in the US, obviously all these discussions um, are much further than in Germany, but if, if in the US today we would, we would, we would talk about um, using the N-word, if that is okay, that people would, you know, not take that seriously. Obviously this is not okay. I mean, like the, the fact, Mohammed Amjahid, who's a journalist that really uh, think is doing great work in Germany. Um, he works on topics of racism and, and whiteness a lot. He's been pointing out rightly that like this TV show was aired, I think, f a few days after uh, Holocaust Remembrance Day in Germany, the liberation of Auschwitz. And it's just really sad and embarrassing that people are so ignorant and unable to change their uh, yeah, the language, after all. All right, thanks. Bye.